Welcome back to Pops and Pylons. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 3. We're still in Emperor Mahmoud of Khan and Bornu. We're getting kinda into the old era there. Um, we are, of course, still going for Mother of Us All. We have to convert all of Africa to our religion. It is not too shabby. I don't know how these Zayidi ended up down here. That's just disgusting. I mean, kind of see how the Orthodox got in there, but Zayidi down there. Yeah. But it's our land. We're gonna. I mean, I hope that my vassals are gonna get rid of them. If they don't, we're gonna have to manually do it, which is gonna be a bit annoying. Because it takes our um, Magetja currently four years to convert a county. And there are quite a few counties left, so yeah. We'll see, we'll see. But we have our vassals doing stuff too. We also have a war, apparently, and I completely forget what this war is about. Apparently, nobody's super powerful. We're attacking. Ajura, I guess. And we have declared for what? Whew, as I cut out a big sneeze. First one in a long while. Um, what are we talking about? Right, war. We are fighting Ajuran. We're fighting Ajuran for the Duchy of Hafun, which is in this place. Ah, right. It was one of the bigger duchies where we could actually hurt the non Bori ruler of Ajuran rather than her Bori subjects. We still probably want to go and rush this place. Nicely enough with the transfer and ruler, the capitalist moved here, so it's much easier for us to actually just grab it and get a frick ton of wars for. So let's just get over here, grab control click, race of Nami. Stop the race. Stop the race. Get onto the siege. And even if you for some reason stumbled into the campaign. Today, wait, I. Oh, this is fine. Um, the reason I do this, as they actually raise troops rather quicker than I assumed, this is not desert, is it? Drylands. Did they include in Drylands? Yes, okay. Um, the reason we do it this way is that our troops raise instantly, our men arms raise instantly why the levies take a long while to raise and we don't want to wait for the whole thing to raise and we also don't want the game to decide to raise our troops in all bunches of places so we do it this way um hunt or feast i don't think either one is necessary here i'm still afraid of spilling secrets i can ransom you um do i have a favor on your leash i do not so rather than ransom you for money, we will do the thing we tend to do. We ransom you. Oh, you not, don't accept. You're that guy. Okay, fine. And there's a chance that they won't ever... Ooh, we're starting to kind of look bad on the numbers here. They are raising much faster than I expected them to. Let's grab at least 500 reinforcements here. Bring them in with the um, organizers so we're faster. We still have the high quality of troops here, I assume, although the game claims it's the same. Yeah, but we're crushing pretty badly here, so... Yeah, this is fine. How is this so bad? We have a bit of advantage. Commander martial skill is only slightly better. Desert Warrior helps. Our holy site... Yeah, it's not as... Not as it looks there, but our... We're pretty good at countering their stuff. They actually have some armored footmen. Which I find crazy. Ooh. Head right off. Well. Why not go on to the Red Queen, right? Over their heads? Over their heads? I think that's the... She's got the Red Queen, right? Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, not the Red Queen. Queen of Hearts. Gold Queen of Hearts on these people. Now, I believe if we move from El Wak into Lagdera, we're gonna take attrition. But let's check whether that's actually true. Leave a siege here, grab the rest, go there. It is not true, apparently. For. I'm sure there's some reason. <laughs> it's a different province, and there's a fort in each one, so I was assuming that. I guess because we could have moved in from here? No, that's not how this game works, is it? I don't know. Either way, we're able to beat those raiders there. Now, what is this war, though? You 
uh, West Ajarani Bori guy, so guy we like. And you're attacking somebody of Guinea. I mean, I guess. It's Bori v Bori, I don't super care, I don't think. Fair to sway you, that's certainly not great. I believe we're currently seeking secrets in some random place in Burgundy, just for the money. We may swap that out. I'm not, not allowing it, and we're good on money right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, we had more money in this campaign. I always like more money, and in fact, I wouldn't mind spending some money to make more money. Do we still have that discount here? We do. We don't seem to currently be building anything. That's not true, we are. I could build more buildings in these other places. And honestly, if I do, I should do it now. What with um, time being a factor there. Let's upgrade you. And maybe even you. Uh, you have no farms and fields. There's a lot of a trade port. I don't know if I care too much about the bonus to development. We do get a bit of a neighbor growth there, but it's only a tiny bit. And 5% of 0.2 is probably not going to help. It feels like that's not going to be the biggest thing. So let's go for the money here. Construct some farms and fields. I am not at all sure that this can pay off in time. But it might. And that would be nice. I guess I need to check the demanding of payments once again. Oh. Also... I think this is enough people. <laughs> Let's make a whole bunch of siege sacks and go spread out and then ideally we use these guys to simply guard my backsides. One stack. Is there a hotkey for this? H. Two stacks. Three stacks. Four stacks. I think. Yeah. So you, siege person, replace these guys. Ah, but selecting armies is still a bugger. Okay. New plan. Little mouse button. There you go. Select you. Grab you a siege person. Ideally one we don't have to pay for. And I will pay for one if I don't even up. I don't totally mind doing that. I mean, you know how much I like my money. Let's just let these guys leave before we bother with the annoyingness that is selecting troops. Once these are gone, it should be much easier. There we go. Uh, select one of you. What you? And then we grab not you. And. Uh, you. For the siege of, I guess, that place. And then you. With a siege person, if I can find one. For the siege of, sure, this place. And I think I'll keep my. Levy army up here, and I'll keep my mad arms somewhere around here once the siege sack has arrived. And then I feel reasonably set up to respond to any unlawful attacks here. Or I guess lawful ones for that matter. But it must be unlawful to attack me, right? Hamlets construct in Majerda. Which still has the bonus, so we keep wanna keep going. Here, Hamlet's level 2, Passage's level 1. Oh, Hamlet's is the upgrade for the farm thing, right. We decided hunting grounds are not horrible, but maybe a... Oh, you can't have a port. So I do think it's hunting grounds. Especially since it's super cheap. Now you might argue I should build something more expensive while I still have the discount, but... Yeah. You love a secret. No, Duke Raymond of Burgundy, that sounds like somebody who has money. It sounds like it, but it's not at all true. You. Uh, I'm gonna blackmail you. For that secret. Unless your lover has money. Who is your lover? 
She does not look like somebody who has some money. Oh, but she does. Oh, but she does. Um, could I make her pay me? No. I don't think so. I think the imprisoned thing stops her from being that. But I could blackmail you instead, right? I could, and she's much more interesting. I wonder if she can't leave the prison because she can't... Well, she would have to pay the ransom herself, right? Or she doesn't have a leash. Let's keep an eye on her. I certainly do need to cleanse this list at some point. Why are you all in here? You, I know why you used to be in there, but you're done. You, I think are the same sort of thing. Somebody that used to be not bory, but is now. Claim on the Empire of Guinea, but yeah, we can't, can't really make use of that, can we? Because Empire, you are bory. I don't think I have a reason to keep you in my list, although they are nice and genius. See? They're also 58 and pretty old. So, eh. Oh, she hates... Oh no, he hates her. Whatever. Get off my list. My aunt. No, she probably was not... not Bori. So why are you on my list? Again, Empire claims, but... Hmm. I wish you could make little annotations here. I mean, she's no criminal, but already punished. So I have no, do not have the ability to use her here. I don't think. Get off my list. You are somebody whose claim I did press, right? I feel like I gave you stuff. Yeah, the Kingdom of Guinea. Didn't get much out of it, did you? You're not very good with money. Oh, you used to. You were just not very good in general. But I'm done with you. Um, so let's have you be gone. You? What are you? Bori. Claim the kingdom of Toro. Don't think I care about. I. It's probably that most of these people were added to my list before they were Bori. And now they're not. Well, no. But before they were Bori, and now they are, so that doesn't matter anymore. You. No, I don't think so. I almost got rid of all of them, and I'm sure you're gonna scream at me in the comments for releasing somebody here that I had a good reason to keep on the list. Again. Tons of perks, six-year-old, Bori, Duke, no claims. No, well, there's a hook there, which we will use again, but will I remember to do this from this list? I certainly won't. I must do it from the hook list. Then there's you. I assume you are also somebody I did convert, unless you have a great claim. No. All right, cleaned up the list to then forget about and the cinder forever, of course. But hey, now I could push her secret now. Mm. Uh oh, and there's a good chance that I should. She might lose it. But the reason I said uh oh is because I didn't realize she was of age to educate. So we only got like two years of education on her, which probably means she got a horrible education trait. No, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> Could be better, but six learning is not too shabby. Not too shabby. Well done, my granddaughter. Let's find you a nice hubby. Now you are my direct, in the direct um, light of the throne, right? Your mother is my daughter, who's my heir, yeah, 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 and you're the first child. So we really want you to keep genius in the line. So ideally, we grab you another genius. And there are some. Now, Prince Abi Bakir here. 
It's only nine, which means you need to wait, which is not good for a girl. You can wait for seven years. He is both handsome and a genius, though. Which would be excellent for our inheritance. Ooh. Delicate and spindly children in my family? What's this? Well, you're not my family, but still. You're very similar to Prince Abibakir. You're two years older, but also only comely. And probably closer in the closer in the um, inheritance, but maybe not. Stat wise, you're extremely similar. You're better at stabby stabby, but you're better at yeah, very similar. Now you. We're going to look at your family tree. It doesn't even zoom to you. Gosh darn it. Uh, and I mean, finding them by hand is just... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and this tree is pruned, right? I mean, this only starts with oats. The whole extended family out here is just not shown. Um, what's his name again? Takui or Abi Bakker Dynasty Tree. Uh, let's scan for any of those names. Doesn't help that they get like titles sometimes. Now, further to the right, unfortunately, does not mean further away in anything but the literal sense. Um, so that must be a, a cadet branch, right? That's why it's shown in different something? Surely. But I'm not seeing... Takui or Abu Bakr. Abi Bakr? Same thing. Can I search in this? Don't think so. <laughs> Painted. How useful. Useful buttons are useful. Um, anyway. So I don't think I have to worry about inbreeding. That's what I'm saying here. How old will I be? Will she be? She will be. Well, seven years old, though. So she'll be, like, 23. Surely that's fine. Surely can, she can wait a bit, right? Get the Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr line in here. Sure. Metro Daniel. And yes. I think I'll do this. It also means that any children will be younger, right? If we marry her to a fertile guy right now, then she would at least be able to start having children immediately. Which in turn would mean that she, um, the children might be quite old once they inherit. And I don't like that idea. I'd rather have them be young. Filthy, uh, filthy game. We're quite jealous, guys. I took my foe. Oh, we took her herself? Well, that's... Normally I'd consider going for more sieges and the, to get the money, so releasing her. Because we can't be wasting 50% war score here. But I'm happy to quickly end the war. Uh, also saves us a bunch of money, makes the people who matter happier. Because people of my um, origin like being at war. But... They are the people who already like me anyway. And who don't need to super like me because, um, well, they don't need to be converted. So yeah, let's enforce here. Grab the Duchy of Hafoon. Um, go slightly over our limit. Only by two, which is interesting. So we must have had some things here that kept... Yeah, we only got Lower together here. Lower talked to here in Rasafoon. 
because I assume these were her holdings. And then we grabbed a few vassals there, which is not awesome. Because I assume you're not proper Bori, and you're not. Hmm. Who did we make a ruler over this place? Did we actually grab the duchy too? Grab a duchy of Rosasun? No. Still only have the one duchy. So if we make more... We know this, right? If we make more direct subjects, we have issues. So we'd rather give the land to somebody who already has land. Oh, we're gonna have to go and do ducal constructs again and I don't like it. Um, now I wish I could see... We have 338 counties in our realm, that's a lot. I wish I could see my vassal number. Maybe I see that on the screen. There, vassal limit, 60 of 60. So if we make two new counts, we're two over and then we have to fix things again. Uh, we do have money, but I still don't believe they're great duchies to make. Well, what will happen? Who's vassal are you anyway? You're my direct vassal now. So let's say I make the duchy I just conquered and then give it to one of the guys that I'm giving these new pieces of land to. That seems great, right? Let's do that. Um, da -da 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 -da. I want court. I want a nice guest or two. Maybe one is fine. I think I'm beyond not making powerful duchess. I mean, duchess? Dukes? Dukes. Duchesses? Duchy I? Um, those people. I don't super care if they have like two pieces of land. I actually do like the stability that that might bring to the land. So we should just find somebody nice here. Hmm. How about this experienced diplomat? Sure. Grant you titles. Only recent title is these two. You're gonna be all happy. I'll be above my limit, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this duchy. Oh, you surf it. Sure. Gravity grab. And then I give it to my new friend here. Your luck. Sometimes it pays to be my guest. <laughs> be my guest. Now we should be below our best limit by quite a bit again, by like two, right? I feel like it's two. Maybe one. I think we lost three, so we should be two below. Oh, we're one over, so we're probably one below. Um, yeah, 59 of 60. Do I get a more detailed view of taxes here? I don't really. I mean, I get all the detail here for each individual vassal, but that's too deep in the detail for me. <laughs> I want something in between. 6%. Yeah, that not right for Liege is... It's a problem. Now, do we have anybody else we cared about? I feel like we didn't. My consular died. I don't feel like that. Give me a new chancellor and a good one. Holy fudge, the learning. Who are you, me? Um, 24 on Prince Bakanu. Oh, my son. Make my son my um, chancellor, gives him bonuses too. Now, I think it's only bonuses to his stats while he is my chancellor, so it's not gonna be insane, insane. But I think it's better than making her my chancellor just for the opinion. Hey, son, get to work. You're grown up now, right? So do something for your money. And I'm sure he's getting tons of money. He's my son, the son of an emperor. So I am sure. Okay, now we're essentially out of wars, right? We have a truce to Ajaran right now, who actually released Mugadishu and Kalafe here. That's interesting.
That screams invasion to me. You actually have two provinces there too. Take your duchy. Why don't I? No, he does actually like me. But not enough to be my vassal right now. <laughs> no. Okay. He does claim it's remote. It's not really remote. But still, I think we go in here, grab this place, um, just to quickly make um, use of what happened here before Ajuran gets it back or something. What are you? Oh, you're the rest of that place, right. And then Mogadishu. I assume neither of you has friends. You have no friends. And you have no friends. Okay. I'm considering a double war. I've never done this. It's not trivial to do in CK. But I think it can be done. Right? I go here, I declare war. I say I want your duchy. Go. Then I go here and I say I declare war and I say I want your county. And then I raise my armies. The reason it's usually difficult is that you can't raise armies while... Well, you can't declare war while your armies are raised. But that's not the case here, is it? So, same on Spiel. Raise, cancel, raise. Get onto your capital. If you can find your troops on the way, the better. Well, I love it. If not, we just take your capital. And um, I might even, if I do kill his troops, which he doesn't seem to be fielding a lot right now, I think I'll go south and clear out Mogadishu as well. So we can be sieging without any enemy intervention here. Seems like a great idea to me. Now, let's already make two siege stacks here for the taking care of business. For taking care of ye old business. Be snatch. Okay, you're not going anywhere, are you? Can I walk through here? I can. Let's go straight to Mogadishu. Find somebody on the way to kill. That's lovely. If we don't, then, you know, we don't. I'm gonna go to like 2000 here. I'll try to. They might kill me. Yeah, they come in a bunch. But that's good enough. And send you guys down here. Just as protection. And. I do wonder why we only get these three enemies here and not more. I felt like there were more enemies. You have 505 soldiers and you have 2,190 soldiers. Okay, so the Mogadishu one is actually the scarier one. You essentially have no army. You have your 2,000 soldiers there. She must have gotten a, a guy, right? Um, mercenaries. In my work at Colored, I uh, failed to find any secrets, how I could uh, fabricate them. See, I, that's not worth money. Do we go back to convincing people in my court? Is there anybody relevant? Vassals? Uh, not Bori. Pope? And then we get down to Counts, still. Not sure that's worth it. What are you? You're already like super happy. Could have given him money to make him even happier, but it seemed fine. What about you? Egyptian fool. 12%. Yeah, you're a bit of a hard bud. Why is that so difficult? Yes, Alice. Alright, let's get a hook going on this person. Person. Um. And I think I do go back to supporting my schemes. It does give me scheme power. And scheme power is speed, as we learned. And I would like to not waste my time here. Yeah, let's be boring. However, that whatever he was, five year old decided to do anything like that. Nice war. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we could continue the siege, but again, why? Uh, grab that and force. 
And I will go one over my limit, I think. Well, I will first of all go two over my other limit. Oops, be paused. But once that is the case, once we give these away, we're one over our vassal limit. Unless we give them both to one vassal, then we're still fine. Did it say 25 development? The frick? What did I just grab here? Oh, that's control. And it's still 17 development, that's very good. But it's not 25. <laughs> These are both 17 development. No, they're both tribal. Uh, which means I would have to pay 500 buckets to get them non-tribal. I wonder if that's worth it. 70 is just a lot. Now, if I were to press this button, destroy everything that's turn to feudal. I don't know if we get extra holdings for that. There's a city here. Huh. Even though it's tribal. There are only two spots for holdings each. And both of them have cities in it. Hmm. Now they have low control, obviously, since we just took it. So we'd have to work on that. How good is the rest of my land? I'm not going to give up Daura, just because. Oh, he has 15, it's almost as good. 15, 15, and then this. well, Constantine is 14. And then I won't give anything up in Tunis. I might want to build a building. Like a, but. Why is Tunis not building a building? Mm, these are all upgraded to the max of my technology, but we still have room for one more. Could be pastoral lands. Could be like military camps, but I don't think we need military camps at all. Let's get those pastoral lands going. But also I was considering building a holding. Like a city or a temple. City's making you money. I don't think we need another castle. Temple's also making you money. I don't know which one's better. Hmm. Can I see how much I get from you? See, I don't get this, right? I don't get 2.41. Probably get your taxes, but the game doesn't show me what you're paying in this list. I would have to go to my own vessel list and find you. Oh, that seems like a pain. I don't want to do that. See, we have so much money. We haven't built any holdings yet. I'm just going to build a city for the heck of it. Now, um, that doesn't answer my question of, at all, of course. Hotna is sort of a place we could maybe get rid of. Nah, I think we'll give these two tribes away. Seems like a lot of investment for not too much gain. As nicer than it is, as it is. Now, anybody nice here? What kind of trade do you have? Forest fighter. Not the biggest trade down here. Competent steward. 12 stewardship. How very competent. This one is 14 and he has a duchy claim. He's irritable and a child of a concubine. But. And not much of a diplomat. Yeah, what gives? You. Grand titles, recent titles, both of these. Go. Fixes our problem with the. with the vassal limit too. Or never makes it appear. And we're 35 minutes in, so thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please, uh, as always, do hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have anything at all to say, then what can I tell you? Comment sections, they're great. Schemes, they're not, but comment sections, I okay. While I try to fix this, <laughs> might as well rant a bit about comment sections. Now, YouTube comment sections have horrible, um, Reputation. And for good reason. But mine is not that. My comment section, well, mostly it's empty. Except for Pisa's comments, which are very welcome. I'm not going to say that they're not, and I don't mean it. 
Um, but there's not a lot of people commenting. But those who are, they make useful comments and insightful comments, and I actually am very happy about each and every one of them. So, yeah. Try it out. And, I mean, who knows? If we ever do grow as a community here, then we might be able to make it into one that actually has a good comment section on YouTube. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But maybe. Maybe that's possible. That would certainly be something to aspire to. Thank you folks so much for watching and see you next time.